CEO, CEO, CEO. Welcome to Venturing to This is DS, and yes, it has finally happened. Mercedes Monet is in AEW. It is boss time, but not really boss. It is CEO time, and like people chant to CEO a hundred times. Okay, I just like literally just watch her debut in AEW, and this is like a very unfiltered raw thought. I'm still trying to collect my thought. It's thought in process. So let's let's talk about it together. What do we all think about it? Like when she first came out, like we all knew, even though it was like unadvertised, yes, but it was like very clear that Mercedes Monet is coming here. <laughs> like everybody knew that she's coming to Boston. She's coming to the big business with the two dollar signs. Like everybody knew the entire day. I was kind of like, Oh my God, today's the day. Like it's finally happening. And even when she was walking down that ramp, it felt so unreal to me. I had the feeling when she did New Japan Pro Wrestling, but like it is all over again when she's coming to that AEW. For some reason, I just assumed that she'll be back in WWE. Even while it was happening in person, even though I knew it was gonna happen, it felt so surreal. She looked so good. Her hair, uh, it had CEO in the back. That <laughs> She's like so extra. I love that she had like two coats basically. She had that outer coat and then she had an inner coat. So the outer coat, she took it off while she's entering. The outer coat, she took it off after the promo and like she had this like beautiful, she had a beautiful outfit inside. I don't know if it's like a gear, but it's just beautiful. And like she was cutting this like almost like a Hall of Fame speech. She was a full on baby face. She was like a full on baby face. I mean, it definitely helps that she is in her hometown talking about everything from her beginning in Boston, her being in WWE to making the women's revolution, talking about her brother. That was like a full on like life speech. So she is here. She's a baby face because I thought it was an interesting choice that she was full on heel in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but here she's a baby face. I mean, obviously nobody's going to boo her, especially in her hometown. I think she is like such a good heel. I think I, I generally like her more as a heel. I think I almost had like a mixed feelings about this because when she was in Japan, when she was playing heel, she was also doing all the interviews in character as heel. So some of the interviews were kind of like, I kind of just want to hear from Mercedes, you know, but here she was talking as Mercedes, the person. So I did that kind of felt really good to finally hear from her as like her real heart instead of like the character, the heel character, Mercedes, my name, but also she's just so delicious as heel. Like I almost want, I mean, we were talk about it, but I almost wanted to see like her just break down Willow, just go at her. So I don't know. I'm kind of mixed about that. Again, I'll think a little bit about it. This is like a raw, 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 raw reaction. And my favorite line from the promo. Let me pull it up. I need to be here. I want to be here. AEW is the only place this revolution can be global. I thought that was like really cool thing to say because a lot of people were just like talking shit about her saying like, oh, like she's just going wherever the, wherever is paying her. Oh, like WWE didn't want to pay her. Like all those rumors again. When it, wherever she goes, there's rumors that follow her. But like she's saying that she needs to be here. She wants to be here. So that was like really strong. But also she said this is a place that revolution will be global. I mean, that was really interesting to me because Let's be honest, like WWE, she already did that. <laughs> she main vented freaking WrestleMania. And that match still to this day, one of the best WrestleMania matches. She's done all that. AW really needs some help to bring that women's division to the next level. So I think she is bringing the revolution here. So I completely believe that she's going to bring it global. I'm really, really excited about that. So that was my favorite line from the promo. That CEO chant, like just was like thunderous, thunderous CEO chant. And even at her, she was getting like really choked up. My heart was warm because even though there were so many people online talking shit about what Sasha and Naomi did, they were coming up with all these rumors about why she left. People were still chanting her name like crazy and she felt all that positive energy. I really felt that emotional connection with her. She was really feeling every single chant there. I don't know, I really, really love that energy. Should we talk about the elephant in the room? <laughs> I was like listening, I'm like, wow, this might be the first year that Mercedes might not win the theme of the year in the end of the year award. <laughs> Obviously, Sky's the Limit, one of the best themes on ever ever, ever. And the money song, I was kind of like, money. Mon I was like, nothing can beat Sky's Limit, but I was kind of feeling the money. But I was so surprised at this like, CEO, CEO. Especially after hearing it like five times with the CEO chant going for like, I don't know, like combined time of like 50 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I 
don't know. It might grow on me, but what I can say right now is that I'm not going to listen to that when I'm working out. But anyway, please let me know if you like the song. I mean, it's a great song in the sense that it's, it's making people like chant instantly. Like right from the get-go, people are chanting CEO. So in that sense, that was great. That, the song did its job. So I'm glad about that. And what was even better about this whole situation was that she opened AW Dynamite Big Business and she closed Big Business. And also, the day she arrived in AEW, women main evented Riho versus Willow Nightingale, a heck of a match. And after this match was done, Julia Hart, the TBS champion, came in with Sky Blue to attack Willow Nightingale. Also, by the way, Mercedes mentioned Willow because that was a match, the last match that Mercedes got, ankle injury. So when she mentioned the name, like people were booing Willow. So I was like, okay, what's gonna happen there? Mercedes came out looking amazing. She clocked Sky and she came in, did that money maker on Julia Hart, who sold it beautifully. <laughs> I had that PTSD from Kyrie Sane situation. <laughs> Julia sold the heck out of it. Mercedes was probably like, if you ruin Moneymaker in my return again, you're done for. Julia sold the heck out of it. And then we got Willow. And we got this moment with Willow, with Willow showing her the respect. So we closed the show with Monet, which was like, I think this was like one of the most hyped up, most respectful booking of like the female talent return debut anything this was like some legend legend treatment this was like tony khan was treating her like a freaking legend that she is and her face is already in all the commercials because yes she brings in money i'm already like so excited about all the opportunities like yes i almost want to see like mercedes money versus willow right away because like they definitely have that unfinished business uh and then i also i think like diana was like kind of teasing that Britt baker might be coming back Britt baker and jamie hater the one thing that I thought when she was like, there was a CEO chant going on was that CEO DMB. I could hear Britt Baker somewhere just seething. Like, that is mine. The three alphabets are mine. So I definitely want to see DMD versus CEO. That's a definitely a feud I want to see. Serena Deep, obviously, she's been teasing the feud matches for weeks now. So that is an easy one to go for. Of course, though, TBS Championship feud, Julia Hart and Mercedes Money. I mean, give her the damn title already. But also, we know there's a feud that we have to go, the blood feud, Soraya versus Mercedes Monet. We have to get there. Right now, Soraya is a little busy with Ruby. I hope that has some time to like really brew, have some bad blood matches, street fights, whatever they need to do. That storyline is so interesting, so go do that. But after that's done, Soraya versus Mercedes Monet. Oh, that's gonna be good. We know that's gonna be good. I'm still trying to like digest everything. By the way, she looks damn good with the second outfit she showed up with. I love that too. I looked at that AEW graphic and it still seemed so surreal to me. <laughs> so I think it will take some time for me to get used to the fact that Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet is an AW. And I also love that Bailey, Naomi, they're all there for Mercedes. So that's just true sisterhood. That, that happened. That really happened. What do you guys think? I, I really am curious because like we're all going through this big moment together. Let me know in the comments section below what you thought about her entrance her presentation her as a baby face who do you want to see her face and what do you guys think of that ceo 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 the theme song all right if you want to follow me on instagram you can find me at dsshin and ring the bell yes on twitter and i'll see you next time bye